This is a special edition of Taking Authority. God's favor over the ministry of new birth is in abundance during the church's resurrection celebration. I'm just expecting just a, a marvelous, wonderful experience, supernatural experience, but most of all, igniting a fire in the membership, igniting a fire in them for the cause of Christ, the advancing of the kingdom, the saving of souls, and the power of one. It's just a mighty move of God. You know you're, gonna, you're about to do a wonderful thing here. Awesome, yes, I know. Inside the gymnasium of the Family Life Center, New Birth baptized more than 400 people. Emotions were overflowing as New Birth recorded its largest baptism ever. I am so excited that you all have chosen to follow the example of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ today. Um, I'm overjoyed this break generational curses. Um, I have my, my baby and my oldest son and a, a cousin that will be being, um, baptized this morning. So we're thankful for that and praise God for it. Using two baptismal pools, the ceremony took several hours to complete, and the impact, unmistakable. Just a rebirth, a, a reset in our lives, and I give praises to God today. Amen. A rebirth. A reset. An overwhelming response, signaling a church in the midst of spiritual growth. Still ahead in this special edition of Taking Authority from the pulpit, Bishop Eddie Long's resurrection message. And I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Get out of my life, get out of my finance, get out of my family, get out of my community, get out of my church, and get out of me. But first, Easter celebration in the new birth tradition. We are new birth because Bishop Eddie L. Long lays a foundation so that we may go to the next level. It's not necessarily a church, but it's within our hearts. We have God within us. We are new birth because we go out and we do the word and the will of God. I'm not having an identity crisis. I'm not trying to be like him. I'm not trying to be like her. I'm not trying to be bishop. Watch this, watch this. I know what God revealed to me. And if my mama and daddy forsake me, I still know God is gonna take me up. What God says, I need somebody to come to the table and commune with me to know what I said about you before the foundation of. Come up higher and start walking in the Spirit. If that sounds like something you need to do, order Come Up Higher, Walking in the Spirit today. Get a copy for you and a friend. Dial 1-800-98-JESUS or log on to newbirth.org today. We're new birth because simply the vision of our apostle and we try to live through that and also through the vision of God and the grace of God, and we try to touch and save lives that are not saved, and we try to open our doors to any and everyone who may need the spiritual healing. Please govern yourself, Courtney. Grab hands.
These are the images many had come to associate with new birth and Easter observance. Images of elaborate services at the Georgia Dome in downtown Atlanta. Easter services that drew tens of thousands and held as the largest one in America. Services that included powerhouse names such as Oscar winner and Grammy recording artist Jennifer Hudson. There's no pain Jesus can feel and there is no hope. These services returned to New Birth Cathedral back in 2009. But whether in the Georgia Dome or at New Birth Cathedral, the Easter services are always steeped in tradition and never lacking in impact. Yes, this is New Birth, highlighting the scene at Calvary, liturgical dancers, and the powerful voices of the worship and arts ministry. Resurrection celebration at New Birth continues to inspire. The PAC Sanctuary witnessed an Easter service focused on Kingdom Foundation. Bishop Long's message, do you believe? I'm here to tell you right now that the Lord has come to you and he wants to make something happen in your life. And he's saying to you that he is here and you're sitting up here saying, Lord, it's too late. You showed up on Easter, but there's some things that died that you don't think going to come alive. But bless God, just as sure as you got up this morning, that ever that is that died is about is now. If you can catch the revelation getting up. Matter of fact, God said, I'm going to make you the worker of the miracle. I'm not supposed to be here, but I guess I am supposed to be here. I need you to hear this because they had a theological debate. Martha started speaking to him theologically, saying, yes, I know he'll get up in the great by and by. There are some of you that are waiting on your dreams to really happen when you go to heaven. 
but let me tell you God ain't got no plans for you dying soon so while you still here you might as well have life and have it more abundantly you ain't scheduled to make it to heaven for another 50 years so you might as well have life and enjoy it here and that thing that died that God wants to bring alive the only way that you could have power was to witness yourself what's this now and she's talking about well I know one day he gonna get up but if you had been here he would have never died well, he was always there checking you out. And the first thing he wanted to let you know, he's proud of you. Because what you lost and you still showed up at church and you still praised the Lord. He said, I wanted you to see what was still alive in you. I am alive in you. To somebody and say he's alive in you. To somebody else say he's alive in you. And this ain't even my message, but text somebody else and say he's alive in you. And then, and then, 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 watch this now, watch this now. I'm going to test you. I'm going to test you. This is a test. This is a test. One question. He looks at Martha and say, do you believe? I don't know what section they're going to get this, but I'm going to ask the question about that dead thing to every section in this church. This ain't in my notes. God just arrested me to talk to you this morning and he said, do you believe? I don't know what dream died. I don't know what died. I don't know it was a foreclosure or a divorce. Do you believe? I don't know about your spirit and your mind and the stuff that's been going on in your family, but do you believe? I don't know what they got scheduled for you Monday and what you've been worried about, but God said, do you believe? I know a whole lot of crap jumped off in your past, but I'm going to ask you about now. Do you? I need some believers in the balcony. Do you believe? God said that. He said, do you believe that I can get him up? And she said, yes. Watch this now. Flow with me. And she said, I'm just talking this section. And she said, He was dead and stinking and nobody believed it was even too late for God but he said do you believe and she said yes. <laughs> they already repossessed the car you're already in foreclosure it's already gone to the courthouse and he looked at her and he said do you believe I can fix this thing everybody already knows your business know it's jacked up they know your mom and them and know your grandma and them and they said ain't nothing good come from your family but I want to ask you a question on this Easter morning do you believe do you believe I'm talking to this section. God said, you ain't even lived yet. There's some of you sitting over here that don't even know what being happy or filled with joy is about. You just tolerate and make it through life because something has died in you. And he told me 
this morning when I hit the book board because the glory is in the house. Do you believe that I can? I need a I do believe yes praise. Can I get an I do believe yes Lord praise? Can I get an I on this Easter Sunday morning when it got up? I said when it got up. Look at me. 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 Ah. Uh, what was this? Second question before I take it home. Where was he resurrected from? From where? From a tomb? Uh. Where was he resurrected from? From what? Well, uh, let, let me just give you, they said from death, let me, you're... you're Well, he defeated the grave, victory over death. <laughs> but, but where was he resurrected from? Thank you. Psalms 88, 1 through 12 will describe Jesus <laughs> while the stone was covering he wasn't chilling. He wasn't laying there waiting on God to touch him. The Bible says he went to the uttermost pit of hell. And after they took him off the cross and laid him in the tomb, he was tripping. He went all the way to hell in the deepest part of hell to get those who couldn't get to heaven that didn't have a savior they were separated and because they did not have the ultimate sacrifice he had to go to hell and whoop hell and then come up and wait on God to move the stone he was resurrected from hell look at me If you for a moment think you've been to hell, let me tell you something. You have not seen hell, witnessed hell. Can, hell is total, eternal separation from God. We are a loving church. We give a lot of hugs in this church. We speak to each other in this church. I love hugs, I need hugs, and I like giving hugs. So that's why we are New Bird. I got a one, two, three shirts, two pair pants. I got some nice stuff. Hoping the least of these has always been a staple of the New Birth Resurrection observance. Clothing the needy, feeding the homeless, helping the sick, changing lives. While New Birth continues to change lives as it has always done, the highlight of this year's resurrection celebration was the church's largest ever baptism. A change in life that represents the most important steps in the Christian walk with God. 
Today is like almost a new birth, new birth, uh, where we're recommitting ourselves to the cause of Christ, but more, uh, more so acknowledging the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior in this symbolic act of going under, being submerged, and coming up in new life. When we come back, more from the New Birth Sanctuary and final words from Bishop Eddie L. Long. This special edition of Taking Authority continues in a moment. We are New Birth because we mentor young men and women to become great leaders in this nation and in the kingdom. That's why we're New Birth. Jesus said, look at me now, Lazarus, and when he said Lazarus come forth, Lazarus, now watch this now, this is email from God, he said, if he had said come forth, Now you got you got you got to catch this and you got to catch this, you got to catch this. I'm just getting revelation now. I'm this is listen. You got to catch this. He said some of the stuff that died need to stay dead. He said I went to the graveyard not to get up everything because some of that need to stay dead. There's some stuff that died in your life that needs to stay dead and buried. And he said, you've been too specific, I mean too general. He said, whatever you need resurrected, you call it. You speak it with your mouth. Because the same power that was in him. And he gets mad sometimes. We, Lord, do this. Lord, do that. He said, I gave you the power. This is like my son. He's 20, 20 years old. If he asked me, go to the refrigerator and get him something. Boy, you better get your tail up and go to that refrigerator yourself or you're going to starve. And we be, please, daddy, please, dad, daddy, please, please, please. I done provided. it. I've given you authority and a power. I got up with all power. I gave it to you. And all you now have to do is recognize you have it. When do you have it? Now. I got it now. And what is my instruction? Be specific. So I don't know what you need to come forth. But I'm going to take about 10 seconds and let you have a moment with God and you tell that thing whatever it is that you know need to come back alive. Speak to it. Call it out. 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 You, please understand, you're not calling, hoping. You're not calling and thinking, okay, I got, it, it's hopping now. I said it's popping now. I said it's moving now. Just as soon as you said, watch this, you ain't, he didn't beg. Please, Lazarus, come on now, please, Lazarus, Lazarus. La I'm calling you, quick. Lazarus, come forth. Finance. Come forth. Reconciliation. Come forth. Power. Come forth. Job. Come forth. Business. Come forth. Joy. Come forth. Peace. Come forth. Healing. Come forth. Now. Now I just get instructed. Hug five people and say, it's come forth. Say, it's alive. It's alive. It's alive, it's alive, it's alive. Take my music up tempo a little bit, it's alive. It's alive. Take the death clothes off of it, it's alive. Take the death clothes off of it, it's alive. Take the death clothes off. It is alive. Once was dead, but now alive. We are new birth because we grow the spirit inside of you that attaches you to the Father himself. That's why we are New Birth.
I am new birth. I am new birth. I am new birth. I am new birth. I am new birth. I am new birth. We are new birth. We are new birth. We are new birth. Get this message in its entirety today. Dial 1-800-98-JESUS. And for a loved gift of $5 or more, get the entire set on DVD or CD. Dial 1-800-98-JESUS. That's 1-800-985-3787. Or visit newbirth.org for the MP3. Order today. Yeah.